Hey, I'm Mariah Vincent, and I got next. You next up and you ain't been on sports like talk like what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next and you up next. Keep the queens go hard. Rise a star on the big scene, make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat, don't set up for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flesh. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready to go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Chill. Seven, five, one, one, five. Uh oh! Welcome back to another episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. That's right. We are going out and we are finding rising stars in our communities who are doing big things and accomplishing B I G big dreams and today that dream stands about six foot guard silky smooth me and mariah we go back like babies and pacifiers yeah we got it ladies and gentlemen probably one of the hardest programs in the united states of america y'all don't want no smoke with this women's basketball team yeah and guess what we got one of the captains right now on the program Hey, Mariah Vincent, welcome to the program. How you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing good. Hey, we, we super excited. I, I don't know. It, t- it took us a little while to, to make this thing happen. But, you know, it's it's a green invasion, baby. We Hey, we, we all rocky green today. Green and gold. Let's go. If this is your first time checking out the program, I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones, Mr. Yeet in the building, a true OG Louisiana. We'll put your L's up for me. And I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother, the head coach. The choir storm, the guru, the architect, KT. How you living today, fam? I'm, I'm doing great, B. Jones. It's just so nice to have somebody from DeSoto because, as you know, B. Jones, my son will be attending DeSoto High School next year. So I'm already 75115, B. Jones. You'll pretend I'm, I'm really in the zip code. Oh, he, zip you see how you do me, Mariah? You see how you do He calling shots already. When we do when we do the Frisco schools, he don't be on all this energy. He on this ride right now because he got kinfolk in the building. But I'm, I'm going to let you have it, man, because, hey, I can't I can't do nothing with the 75115. As a matter of fact, I can go and get four of the dopest ballers I know, and we still would probably lose to, <laughs> to, the, to the DeSoto girls basketball team. That's how deadly these young ladies are. But check this out, Mariah. Before we get to your story, we got to pay the bills. I need to know who the loudest and the proudest high school out there in the DFW area. I don't know. We've been to Arlington. We've been to Garland. We've been to Frisco. We've had schools from all over. I need I need DeSoto. I need Eagle Nation to rise up right now and show me who got that 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 rah rah who on, who on that who on that real talk you know what i'm saying and on the count of three we need y'all to so, show us some love and smash that subscribe button can your folks do that for us mariah i think they can all right well let's do it then let's stop pretending to be one us up in this thing here we go one two three Boom! DeSoto, we love you. Oh my goodness. If you did smash that subscribe button, welcome to the Sports Life Talk family. That's right. We don't do fans. We don't do followers. We only do family members. And if you did that, welcome to the family. I'm your new big cuz. You heard me? So without further ado, I ain't got a basketball I can throw you right now, Mariah. But we, I'm going to virtually throw you to rock because it's your moment to shine. You ready to rock and roll? Yes. All right, Mariah Vincent, welcome to the Sports Life Talk. Initiation. All right, Mariah, to initiate you into the SLT family, got to give us your top five music artists. Um, Number one is definitely Drake. You can listen to him um, anytime, mad, sad, happy, all of that. Uh, second would be Lil Wayne. I definitely listen to him before games. Uh, Third... I'm gonna say Kendrick Lamar. He be speaking. He be he be having things to say. Mariah, I just want to stop you. I don't want to put you 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 like pressure. 
Your list so far being so fire is probably one of the best lists we've had from one of the future phenoms, from one of the high schoolers. Mariah, you got two more to go. My question is, can you close the show with two two hitters? Let's go. Okay, okay. Um, four. J. Cole. Oh! She killed it. <laughs> one more to go. One more to go. Let's go. Come on, Mariah. Bring it on. <laughs> um, fifth. Okay, I'm just going to go with another guy. Nardo Wick. I don't know him. Oh. Yeah, you were doing so oh, good. You you so good. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's not a wig? You got to tell us about him real quick, not because we ain't never had that on the show. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait! Scratch not a wig. Future number five. Number oh, five. that's it. Now put now put not a wig back in. Future. Oh. Future. Oh. Hey. Kevin I'll Kevin has banned Future from the show, Mariah. I. I <laughs> Hey, you still, uh, you still, you still got the, uh, you still got the con. If we driving somewhere, okay, Mariah, you still DJing. As long as you just keep it to the first four, you, you, you nice with it. I like that everybody. <laughs> I can't trust the songs. I don't know the future songs you heard, but future be here. We've heard quite a few in future. You well, know, this is your show. We love future. <laughs> Whatever, Mariah. All right, so what we like to do, we like to rank everybody's uh, top five, and the highest you can get is five. But it's twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Really generous. You are. In the same uh, area code, zip code I'm in. So, B. Jones, so it's seven, five, one, you one, not. five. You better not. I can't even count that high, Kevin. Come on now. Give me 11. Just give me 11. Then. Just give me 11. <laughs> it would have been 15, but she said future. But we're going to keep it moving. All right, Mariah. What would I have to what? say? To- What's that? Who would I have to say to get 15? I don't know. That list was fire, though. I don't it, know. Maybe, it was. You, you had to like... 3,000. Uh, you could say, like, Beyonce. Anybody in the future. Yeah. You, you was close. You was close, though. I like it. I like it. Hey, with Kendrick, J. Cole, and Lil Wayne, you carried it. We good. <laughs> we good. All okay. right, so who is your favorite uh, superhero and why? Um, Can it be a super villain? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I really like the Joker. Like... A lot. I feel like he's more misunderstood than he is evil. So. No, he crazy, Mariah. He crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, we don't misunderstand the Joker. He crazy. He blowing up buildings. No, no, no. no, no she's telling the truth, B. Jones. He, it's, it's a reason, but he's like my favorite villain out of everybody, too, and it's because my favorite superhero is Batman, but mm. yeah, it's a method to his madness, B. Jones, but like you said, he is crazy. But but yeah, I, right, want y'all to, I want y'all to remember that connection. He's Batman. She's Joker. Remember that for later, Mariah. That's all I want to say. Okay. Yeah, remember seven five one one five. All right. So I guess you could be Harley Quinn for our episode. So Harley, since every good I can't say good since every supervillain needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? I kind of like chill rap songs, so I think it would be "Low Down" by Lil Baby. I like Lil Baby. Okay. All right. Did, did you see the uh, the Kansas State locker room? They was listening to that little baby before the oh, game. Yeah. Hey, that was live, wasn't it? Hey, I committed <laughs> to Kansas State on Saturday. I, I told him I was. <laughs> I told him I was coming. My next four years. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. All right. So if you could shadow anyone for a week and learn from them, they could be either dead or alive. Who would it be and why? Um. Dead or alive. Hmm. I know this is probably the most like reasonable thing to say, but I think it'd probably be Kobe Bryant just to see like how much work he like put in. Like, you know, people talk it, but I just want to see like what he really did to get where he was. Nah, that's a good one. That's because a good one. We, yeah. We've had, had probably like the last six or seven guests have all said Kobe Bryant. But when you think about sports and what he what what the Mamba mentality means, I I mean I, I can understand an athlete right now wanting to, to to understand and learn and grow from from being that that yeah that's impressive. So I'm with you on that one. All right, Mariah. So what is what do you like to do other than playing basketball? Um, I like to sing. I sing a lot during my free time. Now, can you okay. sing on note on tune, or can you or do are you just singing? Can you sing or can you sing? I can. Sing. <laughs> I can actually sing, yes. Okay, so th- that's got <laughs> all right. So, so what's your go-to song to sing? Um, Yeba's Heartbreak by 
Jake. You know, okay. we we Jones can pretend like we've never heard that song before. You mind singing it for us real quick, Mariah? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to take it. I'm joking. We, <laughs> Mariah, like I would rather be at the state championship game with at the free throw line, needing to hit three free free throws in a <laughs> row just to tie the game versus singing online, right? Uh, but, a little bit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the one thing we do on this show, we like to sing, so we're we're not scared. I just want to put you on the spot. So, how do you manage your time between school, practice, and game? Um, well, between school and basketball, I usually get all my work done like during class, and then I worry about basketball like after school. So, like that way, I don't got to worry about schoolwork after school. I'm not stressing myself out. And but to be honest, because I don't want to sound like I'm just perfect i usually procrastinate and i put stuff off to like the like friday because i i work good under pressure so i do all my work in one day and then i just worry about basketball yeah i had that same gene that means you're super smart mariah because to be able to to get it done at the last second mean you had to work twice as hard as much brain equity to squeeze it into a short amount of time so uh no nah, that's what's up i like that so let's not mistake her smarts for your smarts, B. Jones. She's smarter than you, so I like how you try to compare yourself to her. But it's a nice try, though, sir. Nice I'm a try. wordsmith. I'm a wordsmith. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I got that gift of gab. You heard me? Yeah, you do <laughs> like to talk a lot. You talk a lot. All right. All right, so the most important thing in life will always be family, and we really mean that. So allow me to reintroduce our newest family member, Mariah Vincent. So B. Jones, please. Away, Kevin, buddy. she said she said the wrong villain, man. She more like the Green Goblin. That's what I saw. When, hey, when I saw a highlight film, I was like, oh, she out there wreaking havoc on the court, man. So let's take this thing back, Mariah. You, you got a million dollar smile, but we got to tell them you ain't no jokes. It ain't no jokes and no games when 21 hit that court. So let's <laughs> take this thing back to the beginning. When did you fall in love with the game of basketball and start hooping? Um, I started hooping seventh grade, but I didn't take it serious till eighth grade. So I would say I fell in love in eighth grade. Now six feet tall. That's that's uh f- for a female especially. That's I mean you got some height on you, Mariah. You you an inch taller than me. I'm gonna have to stand on my tippy toes when we when we take a picture. <laughs> but uh, have you have you always had that good size on you like that? Actually, I I was really skinny as a freshman, like really skinny. Um, my height I probably grew. I, I've always been tall, I think, but. Uh, my body, like, nah, I was I was skinny my freshman year. Um, I would say it's all genetics, but I did do, like, this CrossFit program, like, that summer going into my sophomore year. So that's where some of my muscle came from. Yeah, you got, you got, yeah, I, like, I see them th- dogs. Roo, roo, roo. I see them dogs right there in that picture. Uh, you, got, you got them things on you, them, them, them soldiers with you. Okay, okay. <laughs> So 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 now when, when did you realize that like hey Mariah Vincent is kind of different though I mean it's one thing to play basketball when when because I mean let, let's just let's just call the spade a spade we talk to a lot of young ladies and not everybody can play, and not everybody can play on the soda squad let's let's just be real and, and and for you to get buckets you know you you one of the more prominent names on the roster so I mean when when did you realize that you had that extra gear um. If I'm being honest, sometimes I struggle with knowing, like, myself, like, and who I am on the court. Like, I've always had trainers or teammates tell me that there's a, I have a mental block. Like, it's kind of hard for me to see myself as who I am, but that doesn't stop me from playing like a dog or playing harder than my opponents or everybody else on the floor. So, um, this year, my junior season has really, like, brought out a lot of oh my god like like she's she's definitely her like um my hustle was different like DeSoto really brought out a lot of like what my mentality really is on the court so being ranked in the top 20 girls in the state <laughs> for the class of 2000, that didn't, that didn't put that confidence in you, huh? Because you, know, you, 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 I mean, every scout, every publication, they rank you as one of the best young ladies in the country. I mean, how, how have you been able to handle that type of one 
you know, that type of clout, right? I mean, people looking at you different, but but secondly, how how are you able to handle that type of pressure? Because now you 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 got to perform every gym you right. go into. Team Circle in Desoto, they know that we they coming with dogs and they coming with these this all American squad, and you guys got to come and perform night in and night out, knowing that people are hunting y'all. How, how does that? How do you you know hit those expectations and and make make that stuff work? Um. Well, I know that. I'm the same player without the ranking as I am with the ranking. So I try not to put as much pressure on myself because I know that even though I'm ranked a certain number, I still play the same. Like, I'm still Mariah. So it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't phase me. It's I just play. All right. Well, well, everybody, everybody ain't seen your highlights like I have, Mariah. But describe your game to us. Like, if you was a 2K character, if you could create the high school version of Mariah Vincent on the 2K version, what would you give yourself? What what numbers would you rank yourself? And and describe us what kind of character you would have. What archetype would you be? Um. Well, I don't really play video games like 2K, but I I know a little bit, and I would give myself like a 75 overall. Um. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm give you an eighty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to. You ain't no seventy-five. You about an eighty-five, yeah, eighty-eight, Mariah. Like yeah, well, your coach gonna be. Your coach gonna be like, ah, Mariah. You colder <laughs> than that. But tell us about your game, no, Mariah. Um. Well, I'm able to score at all three levels. Um. I I can post somebody up, get a little uh, just an easy bucket. I can score at the mid-range level. I can shoot the three. I could attack from the wing from anywhere and get a layup. Like, really, I muscle through anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mariah, let me ask you this question because most people don't get to play with this amount of talent until they play in AAU, right? right. You got to show up during the regular season and play with some other young ladies on your roster who, when you look around, they in the top in the rankings too, and they able to get buckets and they getting honored by Nike and Adidas just like yourself. How do you come in every day, and, and and what is it like walking into that locker room with such so much talent? Um, really, um, to be honest, grateful for having as much talent around me as myself. Um, I feel like it's easier to play, it's easier to play with people that can get buckets. That way, you don't have to put as much pressure on yourself to go get a bucket. Um, so I'm just grateful to have as much talent as myself around me. Do you guys do you guys feel that intensity in the locker room when y'all look at each other and connect eyes? Do y'all know y'all are part of something that's very special and and great? And do y'all hold each other accountable to that to that level of expectation of excellence? I think we do. I think we hold each other accountable uh, really well. Actually, like if one of us misses a layup, like I think we handle each other in a positive way to where that we know that it's all love. Um, like miss a layup, like I can get on you, and you know that it wasn't disrespectful. I just need to do better. So we All definitely right, have gonna, that accountability factor. On our- I'm gonna ask you a hard question because we 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 got AB coming on the show. All right, AB coming. She's already booked her date, so uh, so it's gonna be interesting to have her on on the platform as well. But who who pushes you the hardest at practice out of all your teammates? Who who the one that get the most out of Mariah? Get you hot, and you go you have to go beast mode. Um, if I'm being honest, myself, <laughs> um, I know that <laughs> I'm being serious. I know that I got to go. The, I got to go my hardest. I got to push myself. I got to, at the end of the day, it's going to be me. I got to lay down by myself. I got to, like, I'm just going to be there, like, for me, so. So, so now, Mariah, ha- have you already started the recruiting process? Have you already started talking to some schools or? Yes, I have. Um, multiple. Do, do you enjoy the recruiting process? I mean, is that fun to get calls all the time and have people coming up to the school and have these people at your games? I mean, <laughs> I know some kids that they just like, hey, I don't, I don't really want this, you know, this kind of unnecessary pressure. But how are you handling that? And do you enjoy that part of the process? Um, I think I handle it well. Um, I do enjoy it to know that somebody's looking for me, that my work is going somewhere, that I'm not just doing all this for any, for nothing. So. It feels good to know that the real, that this is all paying off. Yeah. So, so what? What? Uh, give us some of the top schools right now. I know you're not in commit mode or anything like that. And by time, by time of the year from now, the whole situation could change around. But who are some of the top schools you're looking at, or or some of the schools that you that are really high on your list right now? Um, 
definitely Ole Miss. Ooh, and they hot like fish grease right now. Man, I can hey think about <laughs> Kevin, think about the power of what yo coach yo has done. And like now you got all Americans who are interested in coming. Like that's crazy. That is crazy that that's the first name that come out of your mouth. But okay, who else? So you you thinking about Coach Yo and and Ole Miss? Who else? Uh, SMU. Mm. Um, U of H. They, mm. Um, I think HBCUs. You, now, now wait a minute. Let's pause right there. Hey, so you really are you really putting some consideration to HBCUs, Mariah? Or are uh, you just being, you're doing a you're doing a friendly courtesy? You uh, know, I want to check y'all out. You really want you really down with going to an HBCU? These would be beneficial to my life. So Howard would be. What? Boy, Coach Coach Jean Marie probably over there. She gonna do a backflip when she <laughs> when she when she hear this video. She, Coach Marie yeah, Jean gonna be like. Ah! <laughs> hey, what, what what you gonna pledge? What you gonna pledge, Mariah? I think I'm gonna just stick to basketball. All right, you just gonna stick to basketball. Yeah. All right, all right. I almost had you though. I, mean, I almost, I almost got you. What what you want to major in when you go to school? Uh, sports and medicine. Um, after all this basketball stuff ends, I still want to be involved in basketball. So instead of me being a coach, give out some of my talent to the younger kids, or being a trainer. I like that. We talk to a lot of coaches, and so for you to be so young and already got that in your mind that you want to give back and be a coach. That, so you you going into the game and the whole everything that you do your work at this go, is going to be different now that you visualize yourself being a coach. So so off off the court, I mean, when you was off the air, KT told me she he said Big P, she a dog, she a dog. So so who who's a player, college player or NBA player, WNBA? Who, who would you say your, your game emulates? Um. Well, realistically, Haley Jones. I feel Out like, of Stanford? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like she scores at all three levels like I do. She plays smart um, and she's strong. And I guess uh, one of the one of the players that I think I emulate in the NBA would be LeBron James. So hey, that's a that's a <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a tough comparison, Ryan. You, you got my expectations kind of high. I'm I'm getting super excited. I'm getting all right. Well, tell us what your summer plans. You were talking a little bit about the Adidas tour. You got that coming up. Is you, you gonna have a crazy busy summer? Or? Yes, crazy. Um, my goal is to win another. <laughs> Championship on the Adidas circuit at, uh, for seventeen years, so definitely going to be working towards that. What's the, what's your team's name? Um, Family. Family. Okay. So, uh, who who some of the other players on y'all team? Uh, we have Ariana Roberson. I don't know if you know, but her stats for the state championship game was twenty five, seventeen, nine, and seven. Who she who she played for? Um, San Antonio Clark. The team that uh. One. Oh, oh, the team. Oh, hey, no. Mariah, Mariah, you, you broke out. Yeah, I'm telling you, me and KT was so bummed. We were watching it on YouTube. We didn't know what to do. We was over here just trying to call plays. We were trying, <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to wheel y'all back. And y'all kept fighting. No, that was such a close game, man. God, dog. Yeah, she tough. She yeah. tough. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Now. now, how tall is she? She about 6'2", ain't it? 6'2", 6'3"? She like six four. Six four? Yeah, I knew she was she's super tall. Okay, so she on your squad. Yeah. That's that sounds like a national championship coming uh, y'all yeah. way. That's <laughs> like cheating. That's, cheating. that's what that is. Got it. Got it. Who, who else y'all got? Y'all got Robeson and who else? We got Cameron Griffin, Natalie Huff. They're both from San Antonio. Um we have Sydney. I, for, I don't know. I forgot how to say her last name. So it's going. It's going. So y'all got a squad. Those what you're trying to tell <laughs> yeah, me. Y'all, y'all got some hitters. Y- y'all play here in Dallas a lot, though, because we get, we got to get out there and come to a game. Um, I don't. I don't really think we're going to be playing in Dallas a lot. I think we're going to be traveling. Like this weekend, we play in San Antonio. Kevin, you feel like making a road trip to San Antonio? You you got that kind of. I mean, we could, we would be Jungle's Final Four this weekend. Oh, that's so right. That's Final Four this weekend. You can't, you can't, Kevin, we got this won't air for another three weeks. You shouldn't put those kind of dates out there. But uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this Final Four weekend. So we go, we go, we go, we go, we go, we go out to come check you out. You're going to have to give us a schedule and we're going to check you out. But for right now, though, we got some other business we need to take care of. Okay, Mariah? <laughs> MV, welcome to the championship rounds. This is the part of the show with KT and I. We go one on one, and you are now officially calling all the shots. All right, you are. Uh, have you ever played a game called Would You Rather? Uh, yes, I have. 
All right, perfect. Well, the game is very simple, okay? So both KT and I make a pitch. Whichever one of those pitches you accept or you like, you select that host. That host gains a point. The first host to get two points will win this episode's game of the championship rounds. Mariah, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you KT, he even got hot again. He had heated up. I started winning a bunch. And now he back. He's he's won two champions. He's won two uh, two belts back to back. So we need to bring this thing home, all right? Me and Mariah, we go back. You don't know. Have you ever heard of that song before? That's uh, that's old dirty bastard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Go back like babies and pacifiers. All right, KT. Let's go. Ooh. Kick it off. Round one. But it's funny you keep mentioning home, B Jones. But we're both in the seven five one one five. So you need to stop saying that because this is yeah. Home. But yeah, but y'all both could be in Gotham City because you Batman. And she the Joker. Right. So, <laughs> okay, that's a nice play. Okay, I'm done. All right, Mariah, would you rather hit the game winning bucket in the semi state final, but you don't know if DeSoto will win the state title or, or you be a top three pick in the WNBA draft? <laughs> um, well, I feel like the first one was more realistic. But I, the outcome that happened, I didn't like it. So I'm gonna go with the uh, top three in the WBA drafts. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were giving them the point, Mariah. No. <clears throat> but but see, the outcome was gonna be different with mine, though. But that's what? good. The outcome was gonna be different with mine. But B Jones, you got that one. I, I you can't go wrong with the top three pick. You can't go wrong with the top three pick. Nah, you can't go wrong with the top three. Th- top three. Top three pick. All right, here we go. Round number two, Mariah. Would you rather be a role player on one of those national championship elite caliber teams or become the national player of the year on an up and coming team? On an up and coming team. Hmm. That means they finna they finna make some business happen though. Yeah. Yep, that means you. Hey, that's like that's that's like a HBCU school. That's you know, you get the opportunity to be a star on the HBCU squad, or you could be a you know at Stanford playing with Haley Jones. Right. I think I want to be a national player on an up and coming school because I'm you know helping them build what they have. I'm giving it a green on that one, KT. I'm so surprised that you did that because normally he gives you the eh, but I guess he likes you, Mariah. <laughs> no, that wasn't the wrong answer. That wasn't the wrong answer. Sometimes the answer be wrong. That was that came from a good place. So, all right, here we go. Round three. All right, so we have a segment on our live show which you can watch Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central right here on this channel. So, if you hit that subscribe button, you get notified. You know, come rock with us. So, on that segment, B. Jones, he introduces a new and upcoming kicks that are coming out. So, for this question, Mariah B. Jones will present to you a shoe. I'm going to present to you a shoe. Okay. Whichever one you pick, that host wins this episode's game. So all we need for you to do is say, hold that sneaker, and we're both going to show you what we got. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> right, it's on you. Um, Hold that sneaker. <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to get that one to the head coach. <laughs> oh! <laughs> five, one, one, five. Oh, I'm so <laughs> These represent the soda. And still. Championship round champion. Yeah. Thank you so much, Raya. We, B. Jones, I told you we were family. I told you we were family. You didn't have a chance, man. And I'm so glad I didn't pull mine out because I had those ready to be Jones. I'm so glad I didn't go that route. Mariah, the champ is still why did here. You choose those. I, we got to talk about. It. We got to unpack this because I got to be able to go to sleep tonight, Mariah. What, what, why'd you choose the what the ones over the uh, over the fives? I'll, hold that shield one more time. One more time. I, I threw them. I threw them out the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. The shoe that you sh- I just it's just a little bit too green. It, I, I don't I don't think that green is very pleasing. Yeah, y'all the green machine though. Y'all the green yeah, machine is organ. I just told you it was too much green. She needed a little, right. little little sauce in it, B Jones. You didn't bring that sauce today, Mike. 
right. Okay. Well, I got, I'm going to remain professional. All right. So the title of the show is You Got Next, Mariah. You got a bright future ahead of you. You got your senior season on the horizon. What, what does the future look like for Mariah Vincent in your own words? Um, successful. I put success on myself. I'm going to put that pressure on myself to be successful because I know how much work I put in and I know how bad I want it. So, I, I, Let me ask you this question, Mariah. How do, you, how do your teammates describe you? Like, if we, When AB come on the show and I say, tell us what you think about Mariah, what's she going to say? Um, I think she's going to say, tell y'all that I'm funny. <laughs> Um, I'm a leader. I know how to, um, get everybody where they're supposed to be. All right. Well, last question. Last question. How do you want to be remembered in your legacy at the Soda Eagles? Um, I want to be remembered as the person who gave it their all. I like it. All right. So do you have any shout outs you want to give? Um, Shout out. Shout out to my mom. Of course. Yeah. To get me this far in basketball. All right. So this is the part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story. I want you to do the same thing. With that said, Mariah, who are you calling out? Who should have next? Um, I'm going to call out my point guard on my AAU team. Her name is London. She goes to Sachi. And I think she, I think she got next. I think she's a dog. I think she, she knows how to command the floor and lead everybody. Um, and also go get a bucket. So it's not only she a point guard, she's a scorer. And I feel like she definitely has next. Man, Kevin, I got one more business question. I'm sorry. At six foot with your type of versatility, because you can, you can play any position. You you kind of positionless. And you mentioned LeBron. Where, where do you prefer to play, though? Do you prefer to play on the wings, or do you prefer to to be at the two? Where, where do you want to be? Uh, you go to college. Definitely on the wings. Uh, I can make a lot of stuff happen. Um, I'm able to cut from the wings. I'm able to drive, shoot. I'm just ready. To, I'm just. I can just play my game on the wings. All right. I'm sorry, KT. I just had to ask that, but uh, but Mariah Vincent. You are incredible. You are amazing. You relentless. You tenacious. You extraordinary. You elite. You sincere. You authentic. I love your smile. I love your energy. You the future star. Mariah Vincent, you deserve a yeet. Yeet. <laughs> you got next. All right, Mariah. We appreciate you so much. DeSoto, we love rocking with y'all. I told you we got AB coming, so we're going to be back down there. We coming to a game. Don't be surprised if KT is at two or three DeSoto games. When y'all see us in the gym, please come show us some love. Come shake our hands. Give us some pounds. Show us some love because we want to meet all our people. This thing is about community. We are family first, just like Mariah said, uh, the name of her AAU team. And listen, Y'all come rock with us. 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. YouTube. Smash the subscribe button. We go live. It is not just sports. It's sports. It's life. It's conversation. It's community. It's all of it. Pop culture. We talking about everything. So y'all come be a part of that. Eat your dinner a little bit early on Wednesday night. And don't forget to visit our new website, SLT. You got next.com. SLT. You got next.com. Why would I go to your website, B Jones? Because we got a new feature where you too can nominate somebody. And guess what? If you are an athlete, we actually got a section on that where you can tell us why you deserve to be on You Got Next. You can audition for the show just like the next one. All right. So go to our website, SLT, you got next.com. Hang out with the Tell us, let us know you were there and send us your information and we're going to find you. I promise you. Our goal is to find anybody out there who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams. All right. KT, what am I missing, man? I'm still, I'm everything flashing before me because she selected your sneaker. God dog it, Mariah. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes, B. <sighs> Jones. So, Mariah, I've been trying to get one of those hoodies, the 75115 hoodies. You don't need one. Yes, I, I do. Personally. Because I've been, I reached out to some coaches. I haven't heard back from them. So, can you put a good word in for me? I'm, I, I got the money. I'm ready to get them. I got you. And while we're at it, I will shout out to my coaches for pushing me to be <laughs> best player. <laughs> <laughs> I got, hey, I, I, we figured you We figured you was going to throw the show, show the coaches right. some love. Shout out to my trainers, um, Mariah Jefferson, um, Jeff. He trained me while I was in Houston. Shout out to 
Lefty Mike, he trains me in Dallas. Shout out to uh, the Up Visuals who's also trained me. Uh, shout out to everybody that put in effort to make me better. Hey, What's on, hold on, Mariah Jefferson. That name sounds familiar. WNBA. Yeah, I'm about to say Mariah Jefferson in the WNBA, bro. Is it, that's one play for UConn, right? Where did she play? Um, I don't know, but she played. She plays for the Phoenix. That's what I'm about to say. I seen her on the Phoenix team this this past. Man, I, I can swear she played for UConn, but yeah, I, I I recognize that name. But B Jones, this is a dope episode. Dope episode. Seven, seven five one one five stand up, Mariah. Whatever you need from us, please let us know, and we got you. Okay. Of course. Mariah, hit that flex for one more time so they know we diesel in this thing. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Sports <laughs> Life Talk Nation. We love y'all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another because that's right. Together, we are better and keep dreaming big because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. It was crazy. I knew you had next because you always working. You always grinding. You're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just, I knew you got next. You did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk got the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talking mushroom, you are what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, it's a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, you got next, yeah. I can feel it. Like me